All right, I didn't uh, plan this. I would have appeared smarter had I had I planned it. <laughs> but um, when I started looking at this circuit I just kind of put together just for fun the other day, I went, oh, wait a minute, I should talk about a particular IC. Because it has all these things. It has it has a Zener diode built in. It has a comparator diode, a comparator built in. It has a uh, an op amp amine uh, built in. It has a, a PNP transistor built in. It's basically it's basically that on a chip. All right. Um, so what is that chip? It is a very old chip. It is an LM723. All right. It's been around forever. And they still make them because, hey, it's got everything you need. <laughs> um, so this is basically what this 723 has in it. First of all, it has the Zener diode. And it has the uh, amplifier, the, the op amp. And it has the uh, pass transistor. Okay. So they buffer the, uh, uh, the Zener diode and they put a nice current source on it. So they just make it fancier. So that part just makes it fancier and that part just makes it fancier, but it's just a voltage derived from a Zener diode and it's temperature compensated. So that's fancier too. It's a lot fancier than when I had, but it gives you a voltage reference and it comes out on a pin. In fact, so you don't even need to use the rest of the circuit. If you just need to have a voltage reference, just, just use that part of it. Okay, so then it's got this op amp and it's got the NPN transistor on it. Now, I think this thing's good to 150 milliamps all by itself, but you can uh, use this transistor to then drive another transistor um, in like a Darlington configuration and so get more current out that way. Now, this chip has one more thing that mine didn't, and that is this uh, little transistor down here, okay? And what that transistor does is it reaches in here to the base and it can pull that base down, which basically says, uh, nope, you're not going to send out any more voltage. Nope, you ain't going doing that. And it's going to just turn it off, okay? And that's used as a current limit. So if you could detect that the current's getting too big, then you can have this transistor turn on and it'll shut this thing down, all right? So um, how would you wire this thing up? There's usually a, there's usually a sample example. Uh, let's see here, basic, typical application. All right. So you always see them this way, so it's totally unintuitive what's going on, okay? But uh, here's our voltage reference, okay? So that's the, the voltage coming out of the Zener diode. And we're going to feed that back into the non-inverting part of the, of the amplifier, okay? So like, can I get this all in one? Let me back up a bit. Let me get this all in one thing here. So, okay, so Zener diode comes out. We're going to bring that into the non-inverting the plus, right? And then the uh, the uh, tr this transistor is inside, and that that's going to be our V out. Okay, so we'll take our V out, and then remember I had a voltage divider here, so they're going to bring that into a voltage divider here, and then they're going to bring that into the inverting. Well, that's exactly what I have here. I have a voltage divider, and then I bring it around into the in into the inverting. Okay, so that's exactly the same they have here. They have a little capacitor here that helps it be stable. And the other thing they have is they have a one resistor in series with the output, okay? And what they use that for is to come back around to that, that uh, PNP, uh, NPN transistor that uh, shuts things down if there's too much current. So if the voltage drop across this resistor is bigger than half a volt, then that transistor will start to turn on and it will current limit, okay? So if you put in a, a 5 ohm resistor here, it'll limit it to 100 milliamps. And you can do the math. Um, it's uh, 0.5 volts divided by 5 ohms. Um, and so, yeah, that's what they have going on here. Uh, so pretty, pretty clever. Let me, uh, let me redraw their schematic because I just don't like the way it looks. All right, so this is a little bit better, I believe. So this is plus V, plus V, ground. All right, so what's happening here is the transistor is turning on. It's going through this five ohms, okay? And it's generating a voltage across this five ohms, which is generating a voltage across the base emitter here. 
And if that gets to be big, then this transistor will start to turn on, which will pull down the, uh, the uh, uh, base here, which will turn things off, okay? And then the output, you monitor the voltage on the output and you feed that back around, okay? And we're gonna feed that back around to some stable voltage here, all right? And uh, we're gonna have a, a, a Zener diode with a, a current source and uh, we're gonna have a buffer on it, okay? All right, so uh, this is also gonna be plus V and ground, all right? And then uh, we are going to have This is all in the chip. All right, so this, these parts are all in the chip. Uh, these parts are all in the chip, and these parts are all in the chip, and we're gonna bring this around over to here, okay? So let's see here on our, on our data sheet. Um, all right, so plus V is gonna come in on pin 12. Ground's gonna be on pin seven. The output's gonna be on pin six. The non-inverting is gonna be on five. The inverting is gonna be on four. And the current sense Let's see, 11, this is pin 11. Output is on pin 10. And um, let's see, do I have this drawn right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Frequency compensation, ah, the frequency compensation stuff. But anyway, that's basically, that's basically what's going on. This is, uh, this here is pin uh, current sense. Current sense is uh, pin three. And current lemon pin two. We're not gonna use that. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what's going on. Um, it's gonna be all the same stuff, right? And like I said, you could, you could have this drive another transistor. Um, to make it higher current, but yeah, all of the same parts as we had before. Uh, Zener diode. So how much voltage do we get here on pin six? It's about seven volts. And so you say, oh, well, that's not gonna be very good. Uh, so I have seven volts here, which means that I need to generate seven volts here so I can only regulate things that are bigger than seven volts, right? And um, that, that can be true, all right? But the other thing that you can do is this is going to get a bit messy here, but basically I can I can get rid of this and now I'm monitoring. I don't even need that anymore, right? I'm going to monitor the output directly, okay? And which means that the output would would go to seven volts. I would have seven volts regulated on the output. What I can do though, because these are separate, this is outside the package. I can take my seven volts and I can divide it down with a potentiometer and then I can feed I can feed that I can feed that back around in. So that makes sense, right? So I can have less than seven volts here. So if I can if I set this to three volts, then I'll have three volts here and then this will be three volts and the output will be three volts, right? So if you're bigger than seven volts, you put the potentiometer over here. If you're uh, less than seven volts, you can put the potentiometer over there. And you can do different things too, but anyway, that's what it is. It's got a, a Zener diode and an op amp and transistors, and you can probably think of other things to do with this thing.